This is just a really quick screencast to go over reconciliation within Google Refine using the um, CSI row timescale uh, Sparkle endpoint. So this quick screencast is going to utilize Google Refine, which recently released in December of 2011, uh, version 2.5. It also uh, involves um, the uh, Dairy RDF extension for Google Refine, uh, which has also recently been updated uh, to work with this new version. These are this is a wonderful extension um, if you're working with RDF data inside Google Refine, and the the update uh, to Refine uh, at version 2.5 is really nice. Uh, so I highly encourage if you're um, manipulating or massaging data, uh, doing these types of things, to give these two uh, items a quick look. So what I'm going to do is open up one of my documents, and this is a document that's dealing with uh, taxonomy data, for, for aminifera taxonomy data, and one of the items that we have in this is timescale data. Now previously I've reconciled this data against uh, Freebase, uh, the timescale items uh, inside Freebase, but this time I want to do it with the Sparkle endpoint uh, for CSIRO. To do this, we go over to the RDF extension and say add reconciliation uh, based on a Sparkle endpoint. Uh, at this point, then we can name it. Uh, I can name it CSIRO. And then we can put in the Sparkle endpoint. We'll leave the graph URI uh, open uh, to utilize the default. Um, uh, graph. Uh, however, if you were dealing with some place where you knew a specific graph, you could put that in there. Uh, we're uh, going to be a generic Sparkle, which they uh, qualify as a poor performance, but there are uh, other ones like Virtuoso and, and uh, Lucene RQ, uh, ARQ that provide a little bit better performance, apparently, although I have no experience with them. We'll go ahead and just stay with um, the uh, generic Sparkle. You can also indicate what items you want to try and reconcile against. Since I didn't know where these were actually within uh, the, uh, the CSIRO timescale graph, uh, I marked them all uh, other than FOAF name. Uh, I assume this impacts performance, so if you knew exactly what terms you were looking for, or if you needed to add other items in here, um, other, other vocabulary namespace items in there, uh, you could. So this is wonderful. Uh, I've already put in this particular uh, endpoint before uh, creating the screencast, so I'll go ahead and cancel out of this. But the um, uh, endpoint is already in there, as you'll see here momentarily. So these are my FAD and LAD stages. This is first occurrence and last occurrence using geologic stage names. And so what we can simply do then is come in here to our reconcile and say start reconciliation. We'll go down and pick then uh, our CSI row. Uh, endpoint as the um, item that we want to reconcile against. Obviously, we could do this, <coughs> excuse me, against Freebase uh, or against any other uh, Sparkle endpoint uh, that you wanted to. Once this has um, uh, connected and presents me the options, then I can go ahead and, and uh, use other columns or other elements uh, to reconcile against. Uh, we won't worry about that, and we'll simply just start our reconciliation uh, and let this process move forward. The reconciliation is done, and you'll see that actually we got an incredibly good uh, score uh, for our reconciliation. Now, what we would like to do, though, maybe is to see what these are, uh, what these, these URIs are. So we're going to go in here, and we're going to add a column based on this column. All right? And in my history, I have the item that I want to use. Right? We'll just reuse this item, and we'll preview this and say, OK, we'll give this a name. And we have that in here now. Now, we should then be able to click on this and access the information, which we can, um, against the CSIRO uh, endpoint for this time scale data. So this is a quick example of utilizing the Sparkle endpoint and Google Refine and the RDF extension for Google Refine to do reconciliations against those, against those Sparkle endpoints, and start to expand the relationships to the actual URIs that are associated with, in this case, geologic stage names.